You hit it off with the bumper nice straight down the middle again. Middle again. You had a fling with a slingshot, you're rolling out the alley and all again. I tried to cradle you with my flipper, it was all in vain. Baby, 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 why are you doing me wrong? Doing wrong. Don't you remember the good thing? What's happening, everybody? This is straight down the middle. We were talking about some really inappropriate stuff before you guys uh, popped in here. Yeah. Uh, this is this is filthy ass Greg, and this is Devin Hare. Zach, <laughs> what's up? Yeah. So today, Gregory, what are we doing? We're reviewing the Shadow. The Shadow. The Shadow knows. Another it's underrated game. Well, not really underrated now at this point. It was an underrated game at one point. Yeah, it's been promoted. Yeah, to very top much so. tier. Is it top tier game? Uh, I'd consider it a top tier game. I don't think people would throw it in with like Theater of Magic. I think they or, still think it's a uh, a B ranked game. Or what do they call it? Uh, B level or B yeah, whatever they throw. Class it in. B. Yeah, they, they don't think it's. Um, Medieval Madness or anything like that. For yeah, They don't hold it in that category. Hey, I'm not saying that I, I do. I do. I, I do, do too. What I like about this game is Brian Eddy made three games. Medieval Madness, Attack from Mars, and The Shadow. Yeah, and I think The Shadow is on point with all three, with the other two. I honestly do. I, I think that, that just the theme and the fact that it was linked to the movie. You guys want to hear something crazy? We're going to get into the reviews here, but you gotta, I got to tell you this because I feel so strongly about this game. I would rather, this is crazy, I would rather have The Shadow... Than medieval madness or attack from Mars. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I'd rather have it than, uh, attack from Mars, maybe. Medieval madness. I don't know, man. It's a lot of toss. Yeah, but it is. It's a damn good game. Let's review the hell out of this game because I love it. Um, and I love I'm it. yeah, I'm always gonna love this game. You don't. I, don't, I send your scores. There's just one thing killed it. Okay. All right, let's go to the game. I'm going to show you guys the shots and layouts and everything like that, and then we'll come back. Greg and I will uh, we'll talk about some ratings. How about that, buddy? Sounds good. Woohoo! We're going to the game. All right, guys, what's up? Let's learn more about the shadow here. Oh, isn't she beautiful? Mmm. She's pretty. All right, so the object of this shadow is to get to the final battle. You get to the final battle by completing these four objects. Number one being complete all scenes. All scenes are completed by completing all scenes. There are one, two, three, four, five, six of them to start a mode. That nice little tight shot right there starts your mode. Very satisfying shot. Nice and tight. So you complete all modes. I tell you what, when it comes to the shadow, and if you're wanting to get to the final battle, you really got to focus on getting through those modes because of the difficulty of starting the mode itself. You can also start a mode by hitting that side shot with that third flipper there. I believe. Yeah. All right. Next thing, you have to conquer the battlefield. You conquer the battlefield by hitting back up in there. You hit a drop target down, hits it into the Vuck. The Vuck shoots it up to your mini battlefield. This goes back and forth with the flippers and you try to get switch hits and then the ones in the back will drop down uh, and then they'll jump right back up immediately until you get the number of required switch hits then they will stay down in the back you complete it by hitting it through that back shot there and it goes down the alley in the back see it's begging to begging for me to play it right now so that's conquer the battlefield the next is shadow multi-ball you get to shadow multi-ball by hitting it right up the sanctum there and locking three balls and starting that multi-ball. Con multi-ball. Con multi-ball is completed by lighting con multi-ball by going over the rollovers there. And then once you get that, you do that side shot, the third flipper, bam, right into that and you'll start con multi-ball. So, if you can successfully get through con multi-ball, shadow multi-ball, conquering the battlefield, and completing all scenes, you don't have to you don't have to beat them. You just have to get through them. Then you will start final battle. Uh, final battle is a tough, tough uh, switch-based wizard mode, and it's very, very satisfying. I've gotten there a couple times um, over here at my buddy Rick's house, Romulus X. He's got there a couple times as well, but he'll be the first to tell you 
getting there is one thing, but completing it is a whole nother ball game. So if we're looking at the play field here, the, the major objectives of the shots here, you've got your uh, left orbit that's responsible for the Mongol hurry up. Uh, a little tip here, if you're running Mongol hurry up and for some reason you're just not getting that shot down, you can go ahead and hit the hit the shot there to end the mode and it'll give you a couple million points. So if you're getting ready to drain and you've got that hurry up going, I'd recommend you just pulling that trigger really quick. And the trigger's used a lot, a uh, little side note here, this trigger is used a lot throughout the modes. You can get to secret modes that way. Um, you can get bonuses and different things. All right, so going from left to right, you see the ramp here. What's really unique about the shadow is that there is a, a Furba diverter right here. So on the side of the game, you see two buttons. The red button is responsible for the flippers and the blue button is responsible for switching that diverter. So you essentially have four ramps, uh, four ramp shots, which is really unique. Uh, you hit the ramp shots to go through vengeance. It's like a mini mode. Um, hitting jackpot, skill shots, they're all, all required by hitting the ramps. Very satisfying ramps too. And if you miss them, they're not satisfying because they're going to come right back at you. All right, as we're peering through out here, you've got that side shot that's responsible for the super jackpot and starting con multi-ball. You also have an inner orbit that is fast as pinball comes. Uh, if you can hit an outer orbit, then hit that third flipper right there to hit that inner orbit. That thing's just cruising. Uh, makes this game really fun. Also responsible for jackpots and shadow loops. If you watch, um, oh, who is it with Papa? Bone Karens. Bone Karens uh, shows you how to rack up a lot of points on the shadow through the use of combos and shadow loops. So check that, that video. All right, going back. That's where the battlefield I was just talking about was. That's how you get up to the mini play field. A lot of people light this right here so you can see. It can be a bit dark at times up there when the lights are out. And then you've got stand-ups, of course, but then here's your locks. Here's where you lock right there in the sanctum. One of the coolest, if not the coolest, ball locks in pinball. And Rick has a custom backboard there that he did with brick that looks super, super nice. Um, then when you're going left to right, you hit that right ramp. And again, another diverter. I'll play in a minute, buddy. Okay, and then you have my favorite shot of the entire game. This tight mode start shot It's responsible for the mystery shot as well as the extra ball. So lighting an extra ball in this game is fine and dandy, but the pressure is on to hit that shot, and then it shoots it off to the right and rolls back down the uh, right orbit. And then you have your right orbit shot that loops around as well. Now if you don't hit that right orbit shot uh, precisely, it could dribble out the inner orbit, so you've always got to be ready on the shadow. Alright guys, so you seen, uh, are you guys in love yet with the shadow? I know I yeah, am. Yeah, you gotta be. The shadow knows. Yeah. Um, so let's go, let's start with our first category, which is art. 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 For art, for me, I had an A. An A for art. You guys might think I'm crazy. Then why'd you give it an A? Because I'm gave, curious about this. I, I, I like gave it an A everything. because it is the most beautiful artwork plate on the play field there is. No. Oh it's kind my of plain. God. Plain? No, it's not plain. It's got the shadow emerging right in the middle of the play field and his black fades uh, to the background. Then it's got the cab, the taxi cab yeah. right in the middle with the... With the, it's like the 50s. Yeah, the taxi's uh, beautiful. I will, I will give the taxi that. But I mean, the overall thing is not. The only reason I didn't give it an A plus is Alec Baldwin. That is the only reason. I wish we could rate this based on RX Crazy. package. Yeah, but, that, uh, that's very beautiful. But boy, oh boy, uh, this thing lights up. The colors are great. It's got what I love about Bally Williams, the, those inserts. They're all kind of the same. They're highlighted yeah. in a color and they're circles, kind of like on Demolition Man, different things like that. I just... Man, I love it. The apron, I love. I love the furbas. I love. I love even the the mini play field. It's very simplistic. Yeah, it's got that. What is it? Uh, it's not the fifty. Is it the fifty? No, it's a mid thirties. Yeah, it might that be thirties. Yeah, the thirties uh, kind of thing. The gangster kind of. Yeah, yeah. Been I don't know enough about the 30s, shadow 40s. comic book or anything like that. No. But um, for me, art is an A. It doesn't get much prettier than the art on the shadow. <laughs> As your eyes freaking roll, what do you got on it? I wonder what art school you went to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh shit. Okay. You, C plus man. I gave ass. I, I gave it a C plus. Yeah, I, yeah, I gave it a C plus. And the reason I gave it a C plus, um, I was that is. generous, was because of that that taxi on the front. I think that that's a beautiful uh, yeah, thing in that, really that nice. right near that dream. It, it's gorgeous. And I, I will give you this. Um, it's a pin for whatever reason, the color scheme, whatever. Perfect. That does draw me to it. The color Perfect scheme is color gorgeous. Scheme. It yeah. is. Um, so it does draw me to the game. It was actually going to be like the second game that I bought, and then that was the one with the bad play field okay. and stuff that I went to. But me and my daughter had actually drove up to pick it up because I looked and looked for pins. What you know? Because again, I'm on tight budget, so I looked and looked and looked for a pin back. You're then. on social security, <laughs> <laughs> basically. Fixed income. It's so tight. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a yeah, I'm just yeah, I nickel and dime okay. everything. Honestly. So you're at a C plus because of the cab. You yeah. like the cab. Yeah, I like the, the freaking stuff. shadow right in the middle. Hey, so he's okay. With the scarf, and the scarf is where the inserts for the final battle are. Yeah, but I mean, it's cool, but it's it's not like an overly whelming, like beautiful package and play field like like so. But it is. No. Whatever, man. C plus. Whatever, man. And I was generous. You're ruining the score with your C+. <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't. There were a few things that messed it up. All right, let's go to shots and layout. I think we'll both agree on this. Yes. For me, the shots and layout, uh, I hate to be so black and white on these videos, but find a better machine that has better shots and layout. So yeah. it's, a, um, it's a unique layout. I've never seen... Uh, you get some third flipper layouts that are similar, but orbits are really nice left to right. Yes. Um, your shot... Uh, up the up the ramps are really cool because they're essentially four shots because you have the ramp Ferba deferters yes. uh, that you can go left and go right back it's a nice long back ramp shot that left ramp is cool too it's really smooth for as steep as it is it is a steep ramp oh yeah it'll come right back <laughs> yeah. at your ass if you don't hit it right yeah. too so you can get combos going uh, with those ramps start vengeance up then you've got the Battlefield shot, which is the upper play field. Upper play field is neat. It's, it's a, a nice, nice little play field. It's a nice, easy shot. Yeah. Um, you have, and we'll talk about Toys and Innovation with the upper play field, but then you have the Sanctum shot right up the middle, but it's dangerous. Oh, Be careful if you're trying to lock balls up there because it will come straight down the middle, <laughs> right back at you. Um, and then you've got the third flipper shot, which is so nice because it it's not just one ramp. It is a scoop that feels so, so satisfying. Mm -hmm. When you hit it, it's a solid, bam, there it is. And then you've got the inner orbit, another fast shot. Yes. Now, I would say that the shadow is much faster than Johnny Mnemonic that we've reviewed before. Much faster than Johnny Mnemonic. Maybe Mnemonic's. on a single hit. No. Combos. Com ramp. Ramp. Orbit. Inner orbit. Bam, know. bam. That's what I'm talking about. What do you think's faster, Shadow or, or uh, Star Trek on a combo? Hitting that warp ramp. Shadow. Shadow is definitely faster. Hmm. It definitely is faster. You hit an outer orbit, bam! Outer orbit, third ramp or third flipper, inner orbit. Oh boy, oh boy! And then ramps, bam, bam, bam. That ball, the ball doesn't have to stop on the shadow. It does not have to stop. And this way it is on board. Johnny. No, it's not like that on Johnny. No, it's your not ball trickles short. out past the. Oh, it does on that. But I'm, I'm ball talking trickle. about the, the combos on Ball the trickle. Ramps. Don't hit a ramp or you might break your machine. <laughs> click, click. Speed. I, I, maybe I need to put a little more time on Shadow. No. You need to buy one. I do need to buy one. But, uh, so, I was at an A+. Plus. A+. But I plus, the same. And for the yeah. same reason, Zach, there's really nothing to add to that. It is some satisfying oh, shots. Goodness. It is it's laid, laid out. out yeah. It's laid out a lot better than Medieval Madness. It's laid out a lot better from Attack from Mars. I like the little... Uh, on attack from Mars to the left of the orbit, or to the left of the, the UFO, saucer. I do like that shot. Yes, the, the ball lock. Yeah. The lock is, I agree. But you guys, the shots and layout on the shadow. I do I do agree couple. that it is a lot better than uh, attack from Mars layout. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I think so. I agree with that as well. Luring so. you over. Mm -hmm. A plus all around. It's one of the best in the business. All right, let's go to rules. We were similar, I think, on rules. What did you yeah. have your rules at? Uh, my rules were in A. Yeah, my rules were in A as well. Uh, the reason I had an A was because it's just it's not just a finish the mode, you get to wizard mode. There are four objects that you have to complete yeah. to get to it. It's start all the modes. It's defeat the battlefield. You gotta hit it up there thirty times mm -hmm. in order to defeat Khan. Then you have to <laughs> then you have to do Khan multi ball. Then you have to do shadow multi ball. Yeah. If you can get through all of that, and it's not the easiest in the world, but it is reachable. Yeah. Then you get to the final battle. 
And the final battle is so cool because it lets you know. It says, you have reached the final battle. Yeah. And then it goes through it. And then you've got to beat the final battle. You guys can get to the final battle all day long. Final battle is tough. But beating it, yeah. getting enough switch hits to beat that damn thing. All, yeah, I think you have to get all the shots. Oh, man, I yeah. love it. And then you got your vengeance side mode. Um, you had defeat con as a mode. Boy, I think boy. it's a deeper game than a lot of people realize. Yeah, but it's not overly deep. It's no. not a Keith Johnson. It's not overly deep, but no. I could play that game on and on and on and on. It's approachable. Very approachable. Anything you want to add to the rules? No. Nope. Sorry, I'm geeking out loud. No, I know. Fine, because right. there's nothing else to say. All right, let's go to uh, ba, 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 toys and innovation. Toys and innovation. What'd you have that? Ah, oh, I had an A. An A. I had an A plus. So let's talk about that. We both liked them. The diverters are huge. How cool the diverters are. Huge. Very cool. Now, if they break, they're kind of a son of a gun to to yeah. work on. I've had a shadow before where. One of the diverters was floppy and clanky. Yeah. Uh, the ramps are hard to find. So that can be, they can turn but it off. But they're metal ramps. Like the whole thing is metal. Yeah, and like you it's, said earlier, you would think when you hit that thing, it would be clunky because it's yeah. right in your face, but it's smooth. Metal yeah. on metal, but yeah. It's Habit nice. trails it's everywhere. Good. Very nice. So uh, Toys and Innovation, what I like is maybe the best ball lock in pinball. It is. Yeah. The Sanctum, <clears throat> where it holds the ball. Flashes the light. Because it's surprising. Oh, yeah. It pulls it back just like yeah. a there's a yeah. shadow or something. And especially if you get the little brick wall. Yeah. So it, yeah. That adds to it. I love it all. Uh, mini play field is, again, one of the best, if not the best, mini play fields. Think of a mini play field that's better. You've got the paddle. You're hitting it. You're trying to hit him. And you hit him enough, and then it goes behind it down a tunnel. Yeah, because I was trying to think about it earlier, about what would be there's a better, not a better mini play, play field. Because Twilight Zone's little uh, yeah, that's magnetic awesome. thing. But that's, that's cool. still yeah, But it's not as good a shadow. Um, nope. Man, it's, I, I tried Wizard to rack my brain Nerf? earlier. No, like I could not think of anything. No. Certainly not. Uh, I uh, really. The, here's how selfish I am with the shadow. I'm such a punk. I don't want to talk up this game because I'm afraid people are going to buy it and I'm not going to get one. Well, you don't see very many. Like I get, I've uh, got one currently right now for sale, and I love this game so much, Greg. That it's not in the condition, the collector's condition. And I want to invest some serious bank. Well, yeah, I don't play because it's a keeper. Shadow. It's it's one of those games that people sell, they buy yeah. back. They sell, they buy back. That's they right. sell, they buy back. Uh, oh boy! So it's an obvious keeper. Mm -hmm. So I think it's worth the investment. So toys and innovation. Anything else we're missing on toys and innovation? Uh, ba, ba, ba. No, not a whole lot to it. But it's, in a, it's again, it's another yeah. innovative pinball. Yeah, it's really cool. so. It's it's nice. Okay, right. let's move on to music and callouts. I like music and callouts. I love. Them. I like them. Yeah, I love it fits the theme and yeah. it's great so I, I gave mine a B a B I was at an A on mine um, and I'll tell you why the the call out or the music is mysterious it is it's mysterious but it ramps up when you're getting in certain modes and bum 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 I just we're doing sound effects too much people mm -hmm. don't want to hear sound effects too they? Mm -hmm. but it puts you in the mood <laughs> but it's cool it's edgy it's mysterious it's cool but then the call outs I love the call outs yeah. I know nothing about the shadow, but damn it, every time I play for the next couple hours, I'm thinking the shadow knows, and Martha, <laughs> and there's so many call outs, it's like, I'm not afraid of you, but I am, and it's like just mysterious, <laughs> and then the best thing about the call outs, you guys will love this, is, um, is it Tim Curry? Is that his name? Uh, a guy that Stephen King's it's it? Tim Curry, yeah. Yeah, Tim, Tim Curry. Curry. Oh my God, he's the best in this game. He calls out, um, he's got his own mode, and it's like, uh, the shadow knows. And then he <laughs> mocks you and you hit, and it hits him if you hit things. Uh, uh, Tim Curry is awesome. I need to watch the movie. No, 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 you don't. I actually, there was, uh, I remember when I was researching the shadow. I tried I was watching like, the movie. Really? Is that bad? bad? Oh, it's bad. A couple people said it wasn't bad when I was like researching for uh, the, the pen. The only reason I like is Tim Curry. Yeah. Really, it's the yeah. only good part. Yeah. Baldwin's no good. It's bad. Plus, this game. Uh, back to the rules, really uh, quick. It's got Easter eggs. It's got those Brian Eddy Easter eggs. If you can find a way, uh, it's got enough Easter eggs, and you can activate them. Your next mode will turn it into the duck, or it's laughing, laughing or quacking ducks, or something like that. It's Easter eggs. It's, it's cool. Quacking. See how cool is that? <laughs> That's bad. That's bad. Don't do that. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I just want to add something. Wait, 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 I just want to add something to the show. Wait, that's something, sad. something never before what, what? seen. And that's all the people turning off their, their computers. Yeah, hey, this guy's a dumbass. <laughs> a whack, whack. All right. So, music and call outs. So let's go to the theme, your favorite part of the game, buddy. Yeah, okay, I had to rank it a little low. Oh. I went with a, a C minus on this one. Okay. And 
just because of the movie. Because you're a freaking hater. Just because of the movie. Yeah. And now, the, 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 that whole uh, 30s, 40s kind of theme thing, or whatever time period. That's the theme that I'm looking at. I, I, that is nice. I, I like that feel to it. The mm-hmm. whole speakeasy kind of uh, feel and everything to it. That that secret mob Flabber girl thing. kind of thing. Yeah. And it kind of reminds me of, uh, you remember Rocketeer? Oh, I really? That was a... But it's a feel good game. Yeah, a feel good movie. Yeah, they, it, to me they kind of have the same the like opposite, that. but sort of have yeah, that I same feel that. of that. Uh, mm-hmm. Was it steampunk? Eh, it's not really steampunk, but um, it's that early early Americana. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. So th- th- that that does it's a little a C- bit more for me. That kills it. No, it's a it's, it's above average on theme. For me, uh, so I had A's throughout. You guys, for me, this is a damn near perfect game. Um, literally a perfect pinball machine. And I can see where you're coming from with it. I really can't. Perfect I pinball would machine. A, a piece of art to me. If you get an art back less. But, uh, theme for me is a B-. minus. Um, it's not a theme that I necessarily like, like The Walking Dead or Game of Thrones or um, even Wizard of Oz. Mm-hmm. Uh, even The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings. I like that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, the movie sucked. The uh, Alec Baldwin is awesome, but I don't like him in this thing. Um, the theme's just not there for No, me. and it's another one of those pins that, that the theme is what killed it at first. Yeah. Uh, but then people <laughs> learned, this is a damn good game. But I will say that the up. reason I did do a, a B- minus in the B area is because you fall in love with this theme. Oh, like, this theme becomes yeah. its own character, and you don't worry about the movie so much. You worry about the uh, the playfield graphics. You worry, yeah. once you have the art package... Like, that's your theme. It turns hey, into I, a I, I 100% agree with that. You don't think anything about yeah. it being a So I could even probably have went higher than a B-, minus, mm, but yeah. for me, this is nearly a perfect game, but the, the theme kind of kills it for me because I'm not a big fan of the shadow. Yeah, and I... But man, it, I'm telling you, I feel so emphatic about this. It really creates its own character. This game does. And you guys probably, uh, many of you probably agree with me too if you have it. Because it's kind of a spoofy, it's kind of over an over the top thing in a way. I think that's just 90s poor movies. <laughs> it was. I don't think that was there. But I mean, it's kind of a neat thing to it, you know. Yeah. yeah. Who I, knows what evil lurks in the heart of men. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Okay, so recap. <laughs> I've got an A for art, shots and layout, A freaking plus. Uh, rules, A. Toys and Innovation, A+. Plus. Music and call-outs, A. Let's give it a perfect score, not so fast. Theme, I've got a B-, minus, which gives me a cumulative... Is it a cumulative? Yes. Oh, very nice. I'm very a close. Cumulative. Uh, grade of A-. Minus. Which is very respectable. Yeah, it's hell a hell yeah. of a game. Hell yeah. But it might be one of the best games most ever made. Yeah. Oh. Mine, I went with art with a C plus, uh, shots and layout an A plus, plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, rules just an A, toys and innovation an A, Good. music and call outs is a B, um, theme the C minus. So my total was a, a B, which yeah. still ain't bad. Yeah, but I mean it kind of shows you how a theme can kind of hurt. Yeah, something. because that's what's bad. Is like it's uh, true. We were talking about the way that we, we grade everything and. Some things are coming out higher again, like almost like the back glasses. Uh, we yep. did the top ten on the back glasses. It, it uh, some things that is your favorite game. They don't up, rank higher than higher other games. Than don't like as much because there might be that one stupid thing yep. in there, like theme, or it just might have a bad art or That's something right. small in there, like Walking Dead's callouts. Yeah, callouts just suck on the Walking yeah. Dead. It, it just it I don't think they're everything. that bad. They're corny, oh, but I don't think they're bad. They're horrible. <laughs> but, you know, that, that's the one oh. thing that in a fantastic shooter, something that's a great game. Yeah, so we, we evenly yeah. distribute each each uh, category, which I think is the most fair way to do it. I think so. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, a well-rounded game is going to probably rank higher than a game that you freaking love but has one bad yeah. thing, or one bad yeah. thing like theme. Or, so you know, pay attention like, again to the individual letter grades. That's right. And what we're going to try to do... What we're going to try to do, if I'm not too damn lazy, is whenever I list them here uh, in, a, in sequential order, I'm going to try to give you the GPA or the actual, because an A minus has a range. Yeah. Um, a B plus, or Bs have a range. B plus has a, a range. It's, was it zero to five or 4.0? Zero to four. Yeah. Um, so for me, an A minus, mine was 3.78. See how it ranks with the other A minuses. It might be higher yeah. or lower. So keep an eye on that. We will uh, update those frequently. Uh, and then we'll, what are we going to do next week? 
figure out what we're going to do next. Next week, we're going to do another top 10 list, buddy. Is it in the top Woo-hoo! 10 again? Another yeah. top 10. So, any, any more We pros and cons? We've got, um, it's beautiful. The cons is the theme. Price, how much are these things running? Mm, man, um, anywhere I would say between um, three. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Three to three to four thousand. Three to four. Yep. Maybe five. I saw that one that was. Oh my god! Like I swear, it, that was completely restored at about five. Wasn't that five that we saw? Yeah, but I, and I don't know if I would. I might buy it for five. I may buy it for five. If it's fully if it's restored, keeper, yeah. I, I mean, to me, it's on par with uh, uh, Adam's family or, or anything else. Honestly, I still put it in that A category. Okay. I agree. I know that sounds weird to a lot of people, but no, it's it's a freaking. It is an A yeah. category. Again, it's I think the themes what keep. I mean, I know you could argue. Okay, Adam's family. Not a lot of people love it, but it's still that spooky, kooky. Give me whatever. shadow. Yeah, give me shadow. But I mean, I, you could you can pick up a one that you're gonna have to tinker around with for about three thousand dollars. It's about up to that point now. Um, a decent one that's been shopped out and stuff for thirty five hundred. Uh, immaculate one for four thousand. Yeah, yeah. Which I think you uh, need to go get one, Greg. At thirty-five, I think it's a hell of a steal. Hell yeah. Beyond a, a hell. Of if a it's steal. a nice one. If it's nice, yeah. Oh, uh, purple that bad boy out. Put the domes on it that are purple. The yeah. star posts that are purple. Yeah. Light up the star, star posts. Post. Make a big difference. Light your battlefield up. Yeah. Put, I swear to you guys, if you have a shadow and you haven't put, co- whoa, look, free freaking plug comment because I love your stuff. Well, is. But the comment purple passion bulbs in your mode mm-hmm. inserts. You're doing it all wrong. You've got to do that. Yeah. Until next week, Greg. Yes. Hell yeah. See you guys later. You ever evaluate yourself? All the time. That's why I'm here. That's what I mean. Go. <laughs> <laughs> he talks to us, though. Okay. So how are you feeling today? Is that, I'm feeling good, damn it. <laughs> all right, all right, there we go, focus. <laughs> we'll talk about some ratings. How about that, buddy? Sounds good. Woohoo! We're going to the game. That's a lot of energy. <laughs>